Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and a brand new experiment that I am quite excited about. In this experiment we're going to take about 20 different leagues across Europe, strip them of all of their players and give them maximum reputation and maximum finances as well so that every league is equal and all of the teams are reset at zero. This is a database that has been created by the channel's director, a guy called Jenan, who I believe is from Sweden. And he has not only supported the channel on Patreon for $50 a month, that has enabled him to create his own experiment, but he's actually gone out and done the database, which you can download from Steam. It's going to be uh, a link to that in the description but if we have a look at what this database involves it really is quite impressive if we start off with the premier league you can see the swedish premier division has come above the english one um but we look at a club like arsenal and their senior squad there is nobody in there um, and their club details maximum reputation and these finances are the same for every single team that we take a look at so that's brighton burnley all the way through the premier league um, but it's not just the Premier League. We can drop all the way down to League 2. I haven't loaded in the National League rather frustratingly. But if we have a look at the stages here and then Accrington Stanley, you can see that they also do not have any players. They've got one guy in on loan in their club finances, exactly the same as with Arsenal. And it's not just limited to the Premier League either. Um, we can also go and have a look at... Uh, the German first division where it's exactly the same Augsburg uh, a team with only their youngsters left who have actually been promoted to the first team squad here um, and they're under 23 so there is nobody there um, and it's the same across all of these teams so if you look at Bayern and their senior squad again just the youngsters have been promoted with no value whatsoever in the team but their finances have been boosted the same as in the Premier League so every club is on the same playing field I think that would be um, the same as well if we drop down the German first division uh, into the German second division you can see that the teams here also got that perfect reputation finances everything uh, the Italian Serie B uh, Asoli or Asoli here again worldwide reputation they've got all of the money uh, does the Swedish first division elite I think even the Swedish first division elite which isn't the top division in Sweden um, also has it the Portuguese second league again worldwide reputation I mean what Jenan has done here is absolutely phenomenal it even includes the Serbian first league um, which again just has the same stuff so there are big leagues in here and small leagues in here and these players that are all now available um, on free contracts are going to be distributed out to every club because as far as the game's aware all of them are exactly the same so it doesn't matter if you're in Skybet League 2 the Serbian First League or your Manchester United you have the same reputation and desirability to every player in the game so it's going to be fascinating to see where the biggest players in the game end up um, and what this does for overall football because ultimately the league standings will balance out, I imagine, um, and I imagine some of the club rankings will balance out. But given their starting point, it's just impossible to know where everybody is going to end up. So maybe you can let me know down in the comments um, where you think this experiment is going to go. I think it's going to be a fascinating one to do. Do let me know if you run this experiment yourself as well using the link in the description. And of course, do say thank you to Jenan for his support uh, to the channel, but also for what he's done for this experiment. Because it really is just such a fascinating idea. Um, and if you would like to do your own experiment, you can head over to the Patreon and support the channel there as well. It's really absolutely crazy the lengths that some of you guys go to to support the channel. But let's go forward in time now because that's the only way we'll see how things are going. To start with in this episode, because it's such a massive experiment, I'm only going to go three months forward in time, just to the end of the usual transfer window if you're managing a Premier League or European team. Uh, and then we'll have a look at where the biggest players have gone and where the well, which teams have done the best across Europe. Well, we are now three months into the future with all the leagues that are loaded up. And we're going to start by having a look at the Premier League, I think, because that is the easiest one to get an understanding for how they're doing. And if we look at the Premier League table, you can see 
you won't be able to tell any, anything from it initially. They are the highest ranked team in terms of competition reputation. Uh, but if we click on that, you can see how many teams currently have the five star. And this is how many leagues uh, Chenan has done this for. 22? Yeah, 22 leagues he's done this for. You can see them all here if there's a league that you would like to take over. But at the moment, the Premier League is at the top. But what we're interested in are the transfers. And you can see that some clubs have been spending money despite so many players being on a free transfer. Watford signing Javi for some reason that I am really not sure of. But Man United spending nearly £63 million on a player. But you can see some of the teams here. I think it's probably best if we sort it like this. So you can see Arsenal have picked up Donnarumma, Neymar, Bale, Scoofe, Savage, Carrasco, Reese Oxford and Redmond. Not a bad group there, but Bournemouth have picked up Thibaut Courtois. Uh, Hugo Lloris and Cristiano Ronaldo have gone to Brighton alongside Santa Maria, Sirigu, Ramos, Matuidi, Yarmolenko, Valero, Sermon, Morrison, Phillips and Noble. What a collection of players Brighton have picked up. They've got Cristiano Ronaldo at Brighton. Burnley, they've got Ruli, Bellotti's in there, Mustafi, Tielemans, they've gone on a spree. Uh, Digne in there, Fabian Delph, uh, Chelsea, they've picked up Munir, Falke, uh, Masip. Messi has gone to Crystal Palace alongside Petr Cech. Uh, they've also picked up Fabianski for some reason. Gerard Piquet has gone there. Cuadrado. Everton now have Sergio Aguero. Diogo Costa, not Diego. And Marcus Rashford. David Luiz, David Silva. Barahino is in there. Deli Alli's at Everton. Ward Prowse is there. Um, Getson Fernandez has gone from Man City to Girona on alone. There we go. Uh, Navas has gone to Huddersfield. Leicester have picked up Brunt, Hughes, Wijnaldum. Liverpool have signed Chahanoglu, Alex Sandro, Johnny. Um, not the best deals there. They they have got uh, Pjanic, but City have picked up Hummels. Bernassi's in there. Um, not very much from Man City. They could really struggle, actually. Manchester United really have gone all out, though. I mean, they've got Casemiro's in there. Signe, Dzeko, Willian, Tello, Barkley, uh, Remy. It's not a bad bunch. It's not the strongest at the moment. I'm most impressed by Brighton and Crystal Palace. We've got Mel Messi and uh, Ronaldo. Newcastle not doing very much, but given they're managed or owned by um, Mike Ashley in this game, it's not... A massive surprise, really. I'm just looking out for any other major, major players that have come in or big teams that are going to struggle. See Swansea, they've got Lewandowski, but they didn't bring many players in. They're going to do um, or struggle a little bit. You've got Otamendi, James Milner, Thomas Lamar, Kevin De Bruyne going to Spurs, Watford getting Bravo. Uh, obviously, they signed Xavi for whatever reason. Uh, West Brom, nobody major there. And West Ham right at the bottom again. Joe Hart back. Uh, Leighton Baines in, not doing too much there at West Ham. But the really interesting one will be if we drop down to the Championship and have a look at the teams down here, because this is a lower league, and yet Aston Villa picking up Eric Dyer, Mark Anter, Testergen, Griezmann, Koulibaly, Aspilicueta in there, Firmino and Sterling and Benzema. Look at this, this is just absolutely insane. What on earth is going to happen to this database? Let's just look out for the crazy players that are in here. Who else have we got down here? Paul Jones now at Derby. Um, no idea why I picked him out as a player. Uh, Ibe's down here. Manquillo's down here. Big player in my Newcastle series. Mitroglu. Um, Bobradi's down here. Timo Horn down here. Sacco. Who else is in here? Katroviak. I mean, it's just crazy. It's not as bad in the Championship. Bigger players definitely going to the Premier League. But Aston Villa have done bits... Bar Barnsley have done well, and Birmingham getting Benzema is just insane. It's definitely Aston Villa who smashed it there. And Mark Andrew to Sergan, Antoine Griezmann, Koulibaly, Aspilicueta, and Eric Dyer. In League One, what have we got here? Christian Eriksen is now at Blackburn in League One. Uh, Kovacic is in League One. Asensio Schneidlin. Asenio's down here. Granite Xhaka's down here. Who else is in League One? I mean, this what on earth is this going to do to the game when we go forward in time? Michelle Vaughan, Thomas Van Marlen's here. Conor Plianka, Oxley Chamberlain and Welbeck now at Shrewsbury. Um, and, I mean, it's just crazy what's going on here. League Two, who have we got? Um, if we go back to the top, 
We can see Bellerin is now at, in League 2 with Barnet alongside Virgil van Dijk, Daniel Sturridge, William Carvalho has gone to Cambridge, Mares is now playing for Carlisle, uh, Balde at Chesterfield, uh, Juan Franz dropped down to Coventry, uh, who saw that come in? Who else we got? Sergio Romero is down here. Are there any major, major players in League 2 that we haven't already picked out? Theo Walcott is now in League 2 as well. Um, so lots of players going to lots of very, very different leagues. Um, what else can we have a look at? Let's have a look at League 1 and see who they've managed to pick up uh, in their transfers. You can see a lot of players going to League 1. Um, big names, who we got? Uh, Pogba has gone to Monaco. They've done well. Bernardo Silva, Hamshik, Koke, Mascarano, uh, Angel Di Maria... Picking up a lot of players there. Santetien getting a lot of players in as well. Not too many big names there. Bordeaux. Uh, Philip Coutinho now at Bordeaux. Uh, Dijon have picked up Pulisic. Rydevold. A few youngsters there. Christensen as well. Maybe the influence of the chairman and their preferences for young players or older players or marquee signings really showing through there. Grignon have got Paye. Um, Thalvan now at Metz. So not... Massive changes here in League One. Just a few players switching between teams, really. Uh, Aubameyang now at Lille alongside Van Ginkel. Matic is at uh, Lille. Jovetic. They've done well picking up quite a lot of players there. And I think it's the teams that pick up the most players that are going to do the best. Because everybody else will be relying on their youngsters. Cavani now at uh, Nice. Who else have we got down here? Uh, different Xhaka there. Uh, Bebe. <laughs> been picked up by Nice. Lindhoff now at... Uh, Leon, along with Isco and N'Golo Kante, they have done well. That's a good score there to their team and a lot of players in too. Uh, Marseille getting a lot of players in, including Luis Suarez and Nebel Fakir. Romagnoli there, um, doing very well. Who have PSG got? They're a big team to have a look at. Dybala, Carvajal, Nainggolan, Alderweireld, Icardi and Didi. I know they've just done so well. I'm finding this fascinating just seeing... Who've picked up who? And I mean, we're going to have to move quicker because we just don't have time. If you want to pause it and have a look at where the players have gone, you've got company now at Strasbourg. Uh, Grimero as well. Uh, Kriate is there. I mean, it's just so detailed, this. And in League 2 as well, just all these players switching clubs. And it, they don't have the understanding of which clubs are the big teams. So Moussa Soko, Rog, now playing at Jaco, dropping down a league. Uh, we don't have the French national loaded though. I suppose the interesting barometer we want to have a look at is the Serbian Super League really. And the players that they've managed to pick up because they're one of the smaller leagues. Um, and if we take a look at who they've pulled in. Uh, there's not too many players but they've got Goats uh, has moved there. Husai has moved there. Thiago Maia. Uh, Ilara Mendy has gone. Um, who else have they picked up? Did they get any major, major names? Kalasanak has gone out. Um... It's not looking like they picked up too many world-class players. Berardi in there, Ilicic in there. Obviously, if you see something that I miss and is glaringly obvious, do let me know. It looks like Baka in the Serbian Super League have done the best. But the Swedish Premier Division is another smaller league that we can have a look at in terms of their transfers. Um, you can see Navas has come here. Um, is there a world-class player here, here? Thomas Muller has gone to Sweden. Lick Steiner, Rondon, Henriks is a good player. Delete, Eden Hazard has gone to Sirius. Alongside Delete, Henriks. Neuer is there as well, so they've done very, very well. Tony Cruz now at Malmo. Uh, Varane's gone there too. I mean, it's just what is going to happen to this game? Who is going to win the Champions League? That's what I want to know. Maybe you can put that down as a guess in the comments. Even in the second division in Spain, you've got Silasen, Deo Lefeu, two former. Barcelona players, Bern Leno is there, Brandt's there, Grotzka's there, a lot of Germans coming here, Ginter, um, but who else is down here, any big players, James Rodriguez has gone to a club I can't even pronounce in the Swedish second division, as has Kimmich, who's gone to Ustis, um, I, I just don't really know what to do, I could have a look through every single league, but I just don't think it's worthwhile, are we picking up any... Are we missing any major, major names? Who are we missing? We've seen Pogba, Griezmann, Ronaldo, Messi. Uh, Neymar. Where is Neymar these days? I suppose he is the big, big name. Uh, he's now at Arsenal. Um, I must have missed him. 
Uh, and Gareth Bale, I guess, is the other really big one. He's also at Arsenal. So Arsenal doing absolute bits here. Um, if we look at Arsenal's transfer history, if that's something we can do here, then if we get the history up, Donnarumma, Neymar, Bale, Scufe, Carrasco, Oxford, Redmond. I mean, it's just incredible. The business that has gone on here. I can't wait to see who is going to win each different league and who the key players are. And then as we go forward, we've got the transfers between them. And also, it's just going to completely mess with the football pyramid. I can't wait to go ahead in time. Um, but I think, really, what we need to do today is just have a look at some of the other divisions so that we can get a fairer picture of who has gone where. Um, this is a German first division. Um, Dortmund signing a lot of players, but not too many major names. Uh, who else have we got down here? It's getting difficult just to read through all the names in time. Uh, Schalke. They've got Draxler, Wagner, Hamburg. Picking up quite a lot of players. Hanover picking up a lot of players. They tend to do well in my experiments, to be fair. Hertha, um, not too many big names in the German first division, which is quite interesting. Unless I'm missing anybody here. Uh, I suppose Bayern are the club that we're really interested in. Who did Bayern pick up? They got Trash, Schuster, Lever, Welshide. They've not done very well, Bayern. They could really, really struggle. Um, in the German second division, Howardes has dropped down. Piszczek has dropped down. Uh, Scherl has dropped down, Ron Robert Zeal is down there, Kai Havertz, um, any other big names down here? Egerstein is down here, or Wonder Kid at Dusseldorf now. be interesting to see what the biggest transfers are in a year's time, or even in January what the biggest transfers are as clubs try to compete. Because remember, they've all got so much cash as well. Um, it's just absolutely unreal as to how much this is going to mess with the way things work. But I think really we need to kind of leave it here. I'm just sort of scouting through. If you see any major transfers that I've missed out on, do pause it and have a look. And let me know in the comments where teams have moved. But ultimately, I want your predictions for what you think is going to happen. And do remember to go and download this and try it out for yourself using the link below. You could also drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to where this experiment is going to go. Subscribe to the channel so you make sure you pick up the next part of this experiment in when it comes out in a couple of days time. Um, and say thank you to Jenan down below because the amount of work he's put into this is unreal. Um, you can also support the channel on Patreon just like Jenan did and get an experiment all of your own by clicking the link in the description. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well if you don't already. But until next time, see ya!